All right, let's crank up the heat today, folks, because we're diving into a debate that's hotter than a chili cook-off. Big Green Egg versus Kamado Joe. Ooh, you're really bringing the heat today with this topic. I know, right? <laughs> Our listeners are fired up about ceramic grills, and they want to know which one reigns supreme. We had a listener write in, actually. They're itching to know which one deserves a spot on the patio, and we're serving up all the juicy details in this deep dive, minus the marketing smoke and mirrors. Sounds delicious. I can't wait to dig in. Me too. But before we get grilling, let's get everyone up to speed. For those who are new to the world of ceramic grilling, what exactly are we talking about here? Well, picture this. A grill that can hold heat like it's its job uses way less charcoal than your typical grill and can handle anything you throw at it, searing those steaks to perfection, smoking ribs low and slow, you name it. Okay, I'm already sold. Sign me up. Right. That's the magic of ceramic. It's actually a technology that's been around for ages, and both Big Green Egg and Kamado Joe have taken that ancient tech and, well, made it even hotter. So we're talking next level grilling here. Absolutely. Think of it as the difference between cooking over a campfire and a high tech, super efficient oven. You get precise control over your temperature, amazing heat retention, and that unmistakable smoky flavor. I am drooling. Okay, you've convinced me. Let's the fire up this comparison. And what better place to start than with the OG, the legend itself, the big green egg? Ah, uh, yes. The granddaddy of ceramic grilling. You see that iconic green egg-shaped grill, and you know you're in for something special. It's like the universal symbol for get ready for some good eats. Exactly. They've built a seriously loyal following over decades, and for a good reason. It's all about that ceramic construction, which for you, our listeners, means incredibly even cooking. Doesn't matter if you're grilling delicate fish or a thick cut ribeye, that big green egg will deliver consistent heat across the entire cooking surface. No more hot spots, just perfectly cooked food every time. Music to my ears. Mm. Consistent results are key. Plus, you've got to admire the big green egg's legendary durability. We dug up stories of people who've had their eggs for like ever. I'm talking 10, 15, even 20 years. I mean, these girls are built to last longer than some marriages. It's true. Those things are tanks. They just keep on going, which is exactly what you want when you're investing in a grill. And the best part is they come in a range of sizes to fit any backyard or grilling style. So whether you're grilling for one or hosting a barbecue bash, there's a big green egg out there with your name on it. They really do have something for everyone. But now let's turn up the heat and bring in the contender, the one that's shaking things up in the world of ceramic grilling, Kamado Joe. Here to shake things up. I love it. All right. They've stormed onto the scene with a focus on innovation, taking the best of ceramic grilling and, dare I say, making it even better. What I find really interesting about Kamado Joe is their commitment to taking something already great, that classic Kamado design, and asking, how can we make this even more user-friendly, even more efficient, even more incredible for the everyday griller? And you know what? I think they've done a pretty darn good job at it. I mean, take their divide and conquer flexible cooking system, for example. I know it sounds like a mouthful, but trust me, it's a game changer. Now that's a feature I'm excited to dig into. It sounds seriously impressive. Oh, it is. Picture this. You're grilling up some juicy burgers on one level of the grill while simultaneously smoking a rack of ribs low and slow on another level. It's multitasking magic on the grill, and it opens up a whole new world of culinary possibilities. Seriously, it's like having a built-in sous chef for your grill. Kamado Joe is all about making life easier for grill masters, and they didn't stop at the divide and conquer system. Yeah. Remember those days of wrestling with a heavy ceramic lid? Yeah, those weren't fun. Oh, tell me about it. I've practically pulled a muscle trying to open up a grill. It's like a workout just to get to the cooking part. Right. But Kamado Joe took that pain point and engineered it right out of existence. Wait, seriously, how'd they manage that? They created something called the airlift hinge. It's this ingenious hinge mechanism that makes lifting the lid feel like you're opening like a lightweight laptop instead of a heavy grill dome. No way. So no more hernias just from opening the grill. No more hernias. Yeah. They actually claim their airlift hinge reduces the dome weight by 96%. And honestly, after seeing it in action, I totally believe it. Wow, 96%. That's incredible. Kamado Joe is really racking up points in the innovation department. But what about the messy stuff? You know, like dealing with all that ash after a good grilling session. Ah, uh, the dreaded ash cleanup. Yeah. Yeah, that's another area where Kamado Joe really shines. They thought of every, they added a slide out ash drawer. Just pull it out, empty it, and bam, you're done. It's those simple yet brilliant solutions that I love. No more scraping and struggling to clean out the bottom of the grill. Exactly. They make grilling more enjoyable, which is what it's all about, right? Absolutely. 
But let's get down to business here. We've talked about all these cool features, but how do these grills actually perform when it's go time? Let's talk heat retention. How well do they hold those temperatures? Okay, so when it comes to heat retention, both the Big Green Egg and the Kamado Joe get a gold star. That ceramic construction is like wrapping your food in a big, warm hug. Oh, I love a good grill hug. Right. They excel at holding heat, which means you're using less charcoal and getting incredibly consistent results. But if I had to pick a winner, Kamado Joe might have a slight edge in this category. Ooh, interesting. Tell me why. It all comes down to their AMP firebox. It's designed with multiple pieces of ceramic, kind of like a puzzle, which helps prevent cracking, which can be an issue with single-piece ceramic fireboxes over time. So it's like a safety net for your precious grill. I like it. Cracking is definitely not something you want to deal with. But what about the temperature range? Can both grills handle those low and slow BBQ sessions and those high heat sears with equal prowess? Absolutely. Both of these grills offer an impressive temperature range. Want to smoke a brisket at 225 degrees for 12 hours? No problem. Need to sear a steak at 750 degrees? They can handle it. So yeah, both grills are incredibly versatile when it comes to temperature. I'm hearing a lot of yes chef mm. in my head right now, but controlling those temperatures is key, right? What about temperature control? How do they compare in the arena? Great question. The Big Green Egg uses its classic dual vent system, which has been a tried and true method for decades. You've got a vent on the bottom for controlling how much oxygen gets to the fire and a vent on top for managing airflow and temperature. It's a system that grill masters have used for years and allows for some seriously precise temperature adjustments. Okay, so that's how Big Green Egg does it, classic and precise. What about Kamado Joe? What's their secret sauce? Well, Kamado Joe decided to tackle one of the biggest challenges for charcoal grills, the wind. Ah, yes, the wind enemy of a stable grill temperature. Exactly. But Kamado Joe came up with a solution, their control tower top vent. It's specifically designed to be more wind resistant than those traditional vents, so even on a blustery day, you can maintain that steady, even temperature inside the grill. Okay, wind resistance is a big deal for grillers everywhere, so I'm sure our listeners are taking notes on that. But let's be real. As much as we love a good grilling challenge, ease of use is important, right? Who wants to spend more time wrestling with their grill than actually cooking delicious food? Right. Ain't nobody got time for that. And honestly, in the ease of use department, Kamado Joe takes the cake, or should I say the perfectly grilled steak? I think you mean the perfectly grilled steak. I like where your head's at. Between that airlift hinge we talked about and the easy clean ash drawer, they've really gone above and beyond to make the grilling experience as user-friendly as possible. Don't get me wrong, the big green egg is still a joy to use, but it does require a bit more, let's say, grilling finesse, especially when it's time to clean out the ash. Okay, so Kamado Joe is winning the ease of use competition, but what about space? Let's be honest, size matters, especially when you're grilling for a crowd. You're not wrong. And in terms of pure grilling real estate, both grills offer plenty of space and they both come in various sizes to accommodate different needs. But here's where Kamado Joe's divide and conquer system really shines. Ah, yes. The divide and conquer system, it's back and ready for round two. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It lets you use that grilling space so strategically. You can have multiple heat zones going at once, cook different types of food simultaneously, and really maximize every square inch of that grill. You know, it's like they say, it's not about the size of the grill, it's how you use it. But grilling real estate aside, there are other factors to consider. I mean, we're talking about a serious investment here. Oh, absolutely. This isn't just your average backyard purchase. This is an investment in years of delicious meals and memorable cookouts. Exactly. So our listeners want to make sure they're choosing a grill that's going to be their trusty sidekick for the long haul. Right. And when you're talking long term, durability is key. OK, so let's grill them on durability. We know both of these brands are built tough, but are there any details our listeners should be aware of? Well, for starters, both Big Green Egg and Kamado Joe are very transparent about using top-notch materials. We already talked about those Big Green Egg owners who've had their grills for like a decade or more, which really speaks volumes about their commitment to quality. Seriously, it's like those eggs are part of the family heirloom at this point. You get the grill when I'm gone, son. Right, passed down through generations. But with Kamado Joe, you also have that extra layer of innovation, like with their AMP Firebox, which is designed to prevent cracking. 
So that's a nice bit of insurance. But it's like they say, an AMP firebox a day keeps the grill doctor away. (laughs) Something like that. But yeah, if our listener is someone who really likes to push the limits, you know, high heat searing and such, that AMP firebox could offer some real peace of mind. Peace of mind and perfectly seared steaks. That's what I'm talking about. But let's not forget about the accessories. Those little extras can really make a difference. Big Green Egg is known for having a pretty impressive accessory lineup, right? They really do. It's like a wonderland for grill enthusiasts. Pizza stones, baking sheets, rib racks, you name it, they've got it. But here's the thing. A lot of those accessories are sold separately. Ah, so there might be some hidden costs lurking there. Potentially. It's worth factoring in when you're comparing the overall value. With Kamado Joe, on the other hand, you get a lot of the essentials included right off the bat. Their divide and conquer system comes standard, along with an ash tool and a grill gripper which is really convenient. I do love a good value. But at the end of the day, the real test of any product is what people are saying about it, right? Those real life grill masters who've put these grills through their paces. 100%. So we did what any self-respecting grill enthusiast would do. We scoured the internet for reviews. And let me tell you, both brands have some seriously passionate fans. People don't mess around when it comes to their ceramic grill. Uh, They really don't. (laughs) Now, for Big Green Egg, the praise for flavor was overwhelming. People rave about how their food just tastes better when it's cooked on an egg. They say there's just something special about that classic ceramic design that imparts this incredible flavor. That's what it's all about. Flavor is king. Couldn't agree more. And then for Kamado Joe... The divide and conquer system was the real crowd pleaser. People love how versatile it makes the grill, and they can't stop raving about the multitasking possibilities. So both grills have a lot to offer flavor, versatility, and a whole lot of satisfied customers. But after all this, is there a clear winner in this epic showdown? You know, that's the thing. There's no knockout punch here. Hmm. Both Big Green Egg and Kamado Joe are top contenders. It's a testament to how amazing ceramic grilling technology is. Okay, so no clear winner, but we've definitely got two champions. So how does our listener, who's hopefully just as excited about ceramic grilling as we are, decide which one is right for them? It's a great question, and I think it comes down to a few key factors. First off, consider your cooking style. Are you all about that low and slow BBQ, or do you prefer high heat searing? Both grills can handle a wide range but those subtle design differences might sway you in one direction or another. It's all about finding the grill that best suits your grilling personality. Exactly. And then there's the question of tradition versus innovation. Are you drawn to the classic, time-tested design of the Big Green Egg with its legendary durability and those endless customization options? Or does the modern, user-friendly approach of Kamado Joe with its emphasis on convenience and efficiency speak to you more? Those are some grilling questions for the ages. Right. It's about aligning your grilling values with the grill that best embodies them. Yeah. But here's the thing. There's no wrong answer. Both grills offer top-notch performance, and they're both built like tanks. It's about finding the one that just feels right. The one that makes you excited to fire up the grill and get cooking. I think that's beautifully said. Follow your grilling heart. Exactly. And hey, if you're feeling really adventurous and your budget allows, why not get both? Now you're speaking my language. A grill for every occasion. Don't let your dreams be dreams, people. Double the grills, double the deliciousness. That's a wrap on this sizzling episode, everyone. We hope we've fired up your grilling inspiration and maybe even helped you decide which ceramic champion deserves a spot on your patio. Until next time, keep those grills hot and your taste buds happy.